also rise up from all those ashes today. Yeah, you were scarred, but you were sorry. You can call it to the grave. I know you know that a lion's inside sleeping in your heart. Step back and remember who you are. What up, Pride? It's your boy Mari back again with another reaction video. Today we're getting into yet another part of Hamilton. I believe this is Hamilton Part 10. The point is, we're on the uh, second act of Hamilton, and I'm enjoying it. I've, it. It's been crazy. It's been the whole time. Every single part blows my mind. There's something crazy that happens musically or plot-wise or whatever. It's been so fun. So I really appreciate you guys coming along with me on this journey down this Hamilton rabbit hole. We're getting into a few more songs today. Everybody keeps saying that act two is gonna like blow my mind, crush me, turn me into powder, all of this stuff. So I'm excited. We're gonna get into it. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Like I said, we basically have a whole nother half of the musical to go. So definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button not to miss any of the future parts of my reactions to this Hamilton musical. But without further ado, let's get into this. I'm seeing all of you guys on the other side. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that was that was quick, but that was like back to back motif references. Like I, some of y'all be like, I be stopping too soon, but they be doing stuff too. So don't blame me. Blame them. I didn't make this. I'm just relaying what I'm hearing. So, um, for, okay. Before we even get there, my boy Anthony is back, right? That's his name, the actor of Lawrence, but he's Philip. But Philip was just a baby. It was not that long ago. Philip was like a fetus like he he just was a sparkle in hamilton's eye and now he's a whole grown man like what is this <laughs> wait, wait what anyway maybe it's maybe it's, no why would it be a different philip why would why would it say philip in the, the little lyrics and it be and the person be with eliza and it not be philip the baby so i'm guessing this is like we've had another time jump between the last song and this song now to the motif. Sorry, I needed to get that out because I was like, what, what? When I saw Philip, I was like, what? Uh, anyway, two motifs back to back to back. We had the uh, counting to nine thing from the beginning of 10 Dual Commandments. I like that the motifs are that are referenced in a lot of these opening parts of the songs tend to correlate to intros of other songs because it makes it easier for my brain to like place where things are sometimes i'll hear something and i'll be like that sounds like it might be a motif but i can't remember where in the song it is so i'm just not gonna say it but whatever that one is the beginning of uh, it's the intro of 10 dual commandments uh but they they started off in french i don't speak french but i know enough french to know that that was in french and then uh, then at the end there they do one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we go immediately into the next motif which is from um one second I just had it. Oh, satisfied. Okay, <laughs> sorry. It's from satisfied. This is a lot harder than like maybe it, I make it seem like my my brain has to like really pull from where these things are. From satisfied after the rewind, 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 and then uh the, like the helpless, and then there's um uh uh is it I'm drowning? She says something else. Whatever. The point between the the rewind and all the like stuff that's like reverbed and kind of like off in the distance, sounding like a memory. And then I remember those nights. I just might regret those nights for the rest of my days. Like that part in between there, there's like a little like flurry of notes that happens again just now right here. It sounds different though, because it's like way faster right here. Um, and it's just like tacked on to the end of like another motif because they're doing that now. In act one, they're like motif, motif, motif. Okay, are you ready to think about motifs? Cool. Now here's motifs mixed into other motifs, which is it's, it's act two. So bro just flexing on us, I guess. But um, that's what I caught. Two motifs right off the back, boom, boom, mixed into each other, just like they did in the previous part. My dearest Angelica, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. I trust you'll understand the reference to another Scottish tragedy without my having to name the play. They think me Macbeth, Madison is Banquo, Jefferson's Macduff, and Burnham Wood is Congress on its way to Dunson There you are, an ocean away. Okay, see, I would. Now, I almost stopped immediately again, but I didn't, okay? I held off and kind of 
took away some of the wow of me catching it. But I paused over the Macbeth thing. When he said tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Okay, first off, let me, let me start by saying, and I'll, I'll make this quick, but I am not a Shakespearean scholar, although I have referenced Shakespeare either directly or indirectly in several of my own songs, but I am not a Shakespearean scholar. But I, I do know enough about Shakespeare to know that the tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow is from Macbeth after... After Lady Macbeth dies and Macbeth learns that Lady Macbeth is dead. Whoa, whoa, hold on. That better not be some foreshadowing about Eliza dying, bro. I'm going to be pissed, okay? I'm, that's just, let me put that out there right now, okay? Anyway, back to the point. Um, after Macbeth learns that Lady Macbeth dies, that's when he does the, the whole tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow monologue thing. And I, I think that next line is also from from Macbeth as well, but I, I don't quote me on that. Uh, if this is still in here, like if I didn't edit this part out, then I was right. That next line is also from Macbeth. If it's, if, if it's not in here, you wouldn't see this. So that means if you're seeing this, I was right. Those, that part is from Macbeth. And then he literally says, um, I don't have to tell you the name of the, the Scottish tragedy, but he does, because I, I guess he doesn't tell her the name, but he tells her the name of the titular character, whatever, same stuff. Um, Oh, interesting. Hamil Hamilton is Scottish. Well, he's, he's the son of a Scotsman. That's, that's the same thing. Macbeth is Scottish. Hamilton is Scottish. But he, he, says, he says that Macduff is... Um, I don't know who he said. It wasn't Burr, though. I would, I would make the connection to Burr. But whatever. The point is, he's comparing himself to Macbeth. The super, super famous Shakespearean play. And that's cool. It's like a... It's a nod to the fact that both him and Angelica are like super smart, like brainy people on the same level because, of course, only super smart brainy people reference Shakespeare to each other. I think that's everything I wanted to say there. The point is Shakespeare is now Mitch. It makes sense that like we're watching a Broadway musical and there is a Shakespeare. Re there might have been other Shakespeare references prior to this that I didn't pick up on. But again, not a Shakespearean scholar. In Burnham Wood is Congress on its way to Dunson I wrote this poem just to show it, and I just turned nine. You could write rhymes, but you can't write mine. Oh. I got to switch and play piano with my mother. Uh -huh. I have a sister, but I want a little brother. Okay. My daddy's trying to start America's bank. And the twat kind of shit. Okay, that was kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie. He started he started a little shaky in the beginning. Um, it was funny. Also, the, the fact that the crowd was was laughing is kind of like a laugh track almost. I was also kind of laughing at Eliza beatboxing. Like, I mean, she's she's very talented, but like beatboxing is is not in that bag of talents. Um, yeah, I like that. Like, he's he kind of takes after his dad in that he is also like rap like you know Hamilton raps obviously on a completely different level because he's a grown man but Hamilton raps and then uh Philip is also rapping I mean he he's he showing potential he I mean, dude is rapping in two languages and as someone who is, again has written lyrics in multiple languages that's not easy so like even though I'm getting on his case like really I mean he's a better rapper than a lot of modern rappers I'll, I'll give him that uh, and he's nine, so he's a much better rapper than a lot of modern rappers. Another thing. Oh, I I felt a lot of secondhand embarrassment when he was like being called down to dinner, and he was like, "I'm busy working," and then she was she like kind of had to like rip him away. As I've mentioned, I am very like Hamilton in certain regards, and so I've been in that situation numerous times where it's just like. I'm working and like the people around me have to remind me how to human and part of that is to eat. Um, in fact, in the, like a previous video, I got yelled at by a bunch of people in the comments for not eating and instead filming a video. And I told you guys about it because I'm dumb. And so people were like, take care of yourself. So um, yeah, I, I got a little, if, if you look at my face during that section, I got a little secondhand embarrassment on that part. But 
Um, it's your kid's birthday, dude. You got to go, like, be a part of your kid's, like, mini recital that he has going in the, the living room. But that was cute. That was cute. Shouts out to Eliza. Hashtag best mom. He wasn't even working. I just thought about it. He was just venting to his wife's sister. No. No. X is in the chat. Yeah, you definitely should have been down there with your kid, dude. Be better. One last thing I wanted to say is um, uh, Anthony. I think that's the actor's name. I, I hope that's right. I could look it up. But last time I looked up an actor's name on camera, it, it didn't go so well. <laughs> um, but I think his name's Anthony. So I'm going to just go with that. If it's not, I'm sure the comments will tell me his, his correct name. It's easier for me to get it now. Like, I, I, I understand better him as a kid. Like, if I separate the fact that he is a grown man and he is playing, or he, he did play a grown man in Act 1, and now he's playing a different character who's a kid, and just look at, like, his acting in the moment, it is very, like, childlike. Like, I feel like he's harnessing... Does that make sense? He's acting this out really well. Like, he... It's zero Lawrence in the vibes, completely childlike in, in demeanor and nature. And so um, I wanted to give a shout out to that for like the overall body language change and delivery change and all of that. That's different with him playing a child character. Um, speaking of, apparently, uh, what's his face? Philip is also nine. So earlier when I said that they were counting to nine as a reference to 10 dual commandments, they also could have been counting to nine as a reference to the fact that he is nine now. So like nine years may have passed. I don't know. You get the point. The point is he's nine now. So let's continue. Oh God, not again. Okay, so I, I'm not, I'm not gonna overreact again. Well, probably will. But I, I will try not to overreact again to this treachery that is Hamilton and his, his letters that he be writing people. Between like the comments telling me about all the, the, the letters that he wrote Lawrence and all of these letters that he was writing Angelica, bruh, his, yo, like, Keep your quill in your pants, bro. You you out here writing all these love letters to everybody but your wife. I'm gonna need you to do better, okay? But anyway, uh, my dearest, comma with like that that like accentuated hard pause, Angelica. That's that was that was a master stroke of writing right there. Like that was so good. That all the music cuts out, breath, the 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 pregnant pause, and then um. And just, yeah, that really drives home the point there without saying it, you know? And she says she's been consumed all week thinking about that comma, okay? Um, which is like the most like nerdy, sapiosexual thing to say ever. Like a <laughs> comma is just consumed for a week. But um, yeah, I really, really, really like the motif that's being referenced like over and over and over again. I, I don't really understand the, the Ten Dual Commandments reference, so I'm thinking that that wasn't intentional, and that's just like a reference to um, Philip being nine, like it's, it's his ninth birthday during this. But the satisfied motif makes complete sense, uh, and they keep going back to it. Every time Angelica like comes, like he literally hears the music as he's reading her letter. So um, different parts of the song are being referenced. It's basically just listen to the piano in... <laughs> All of the parts where Angelica is singing and or Hamilton is writing to Angelica, all of that piano section is just ripped straight from Satisfied um, and and just overlaid here in this song. And it makes sense because, again, Satisfied was where we all found out that, like, Angelica and, and Alex had it bad for each other. Really, Angelica had it bad for him. We didn't really know that... 
I mean, I guess we did. I kind of freaked out about the, like, hand kiss. And you guys were like, oh, it was nothing, knowing, knowing that it was something. In that same video, it's proven that it's something. And I still got comments like, oh, the hand kiss isn't a big deal. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And this is song number whatever, two or three, indicating that it was, in fact, a big deal. Um, three, because she leaves in... What song does she leave in? I don't know. But he gets he gets distraught, and I didn't like it, and I don't like this. But nevertheless, this is the situation we have going on, and I think that the way that they have written it is, like, really dope, having, like, the actual uh, piano part of the melody from Satisfied be embedded into basically his letter, like, their, their correspondence. It, it's almost like a singing card, like, you know, like, when you open cards and they, they sing a particular song. In this case, when he's opening the letter, his brain is singing the melody of Satisfied. And so I find that very interesting. Letter I received from you two weeks ago, I noticed a comma. I said that that's a piano. It's probably not a piano. I think that's a harp, but whatever. You get the point. The point is the parts that aren't percussion, okay? The part right before when I paused, like percussion came in, all that part leading up to it, whatever that instrument was, I think it's a harp over top of every all of that is from satisfied okay so before people tear me apart in the comments like that's not a piano okay i got it you get the point same melody let's continue one stroke and you've consumed my wicked gaze it says my, my dearest angelica, angelica with the comma that's a piano that's what that's what i thought it was a piano okay whatever just, just whatever you've written my dearest angelica anyway all this to say i'm coming home my sister's invitation. I know you're very busy. I know your work's important. But I'm crossing the ocean and I just can't wait. You won't be an ocean away. You will only be a moment away. Alexander, come downstairs. Angelica's arriving today. <laughs> Angelica. <laughs> Skylar sisters. Alexander. Okay, bro, I'll be trying not to pause every 15 seconds because I'm really getting tired of people yelling at me for it. But, like, bro, what do y'all want me to say? Like, th they keep doing stuff that's pause worthy every 15 seconds. So, that obviously a reference to the Skylar sisters. Like, they, they literally say, they sing it in the same way that they say their names in Skylar sisters when they introduce themselves. Uh, Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy, the Skylar sisters. Yeah, so he does the Skylar sisters part instead of them singing the Skylar sisters part. And uh, they do, you get what I'm saying? It's in the same order. Angelica, Eliza, um, it's it's dope. Except I think they sing each other's parts, right? Because they sing their own names in that song. And I think here they just sung each other's names because they're like greeting each other. But you get the point. It's direct reference to Skylar sisters. <laughs> It's good to see your face. Angelica, tell this man John Adams spends the summer with his family. Angelica, tell my wife John Adams doesn't have a real job anyway. You're not joining us, wait. I'm afraid I cannot join you upstate. Alexander, I came all this way. She came all this way. All this way. Take a break. Run away with us for the summer. Let's go. I lose my job if we don't get this plan. We can all go stay with our father. Bruh, I'm gonna need them to stop playing with my heart. Every time they reference it, I have like PTSD Vietnam flashbacks of every other time they didn't reference it. And I, it makes me emotional because all the other times they didn't reference it, it made me emotional, okay? Anyway, um, obviously that is like another reference to Skylar Sisters and uh, Would That Be Enough? And there's another song that that's referenced. There's a bunch of songs that that is referenced in. Um, the, the look around, look around, how lucky we are to be alive, right? It's, oh, yeah, it's just referencing the, um, the end of Act 1. What is that song called? Uh, uh, I, I know what that song's called. 
Don't don't tell me. I can't hear you anyway. Nonstop. Not that's what it's called. Okay, yeah. It's also referenced in nonstop uh by Alex that time. Um bro, they be singing. They be they be singing. I'm just saying. Like they don't I know that like I got into this because of, of the rappy rapping and the rappy rapping do be going hard. But I mean, if we gotta put some respect on the girls' names, okay? Every time, especially when these two be singing together, bro. Oh my god! If they're on stage together, they gonna snap. It's they gonna snap. They be, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> they, they, yeah, yeah. It's good, dude. It's so good. Plot wise, I don't like that he not going with his family. I don't understand. Like you, you can't take your work with you. Like I, ju I just showed you like two parts ago. You could go on vacation with your family. And still take your, you can still get work done. They, you were getting letters from Angelica from literally across the Atlantic Ocean, but you can't send your work back to New York from wherever y'all are going in the summer to vacate. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Why, why can't you go with them? That don't make no sense to me. Someone, please explain to me why this nigga got to stay. I don't understand. I don't get it. It's, it's frustrating me because, like, First off, his, his wife is like begging him to go. And you already know how I feel about Liza. She got my whole heart, my soul, my toes, my everything, okay? Uh, and then and then on top of that, Angelica, who's like your little sneaky link that you've been, been sending the, the little, you know, the little, the little messages to. You've, you've been writing your little letters that with, with the pregnant pause on the, on the comma to she didn't came all the way across the ocean to go spend some time with you. And while I'm... I'm happy you're not going solely for Angelica because that would be trash. But but at the same time, you not going is also is also trash. Like is 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 very much garbage juice right now. I don't understand. So um, yeah, I'm gonna need to stop comparing myself to him because I keep being like, oh, I get it. But at the same time, I don't want you guys to think like I would make all the same decisions that he would make because like I would just I I just showed y'all what I would do. I would go and then and then like find little moments to work. And I understand that in his case, he he will lose his job in the event that he doesn't like get his project through or get it like approved by Congress. But at the same time, like they don't have no ink at the at the other house by the lake. They they you can't find no time to to write. Like I feel like he should during the day spend time with his family and then when Philip has to get put down for a nap or something, I don't know, he could write at night. Although although Eliza was like kind of making making some suggestions that they might be making that little brother for Philip at, at nighttime. And that might, that might take it out of him. And so he can't write, but I, I mean, I, I think he should find a way. I think he should find a way. That's all I'm saying. I think he should find a way. So, um, here's to hoping that he does go on this trip. I don't know that he will actually it's Hamilton. So I don't think that he will, but I'm hoping that he will because I'm a simp specifically for Eliza. So, uh, yeah, let's continue. Take a break. Someone under stress meets someone looking pretty. There's trouble in the air, you can smell it. And Alexander's by himself. I'll let him tell it. I hadn't slept in a week, I was weak, I was awake. You nope. No, no, no. I'm not going to I'm not going to do that thing that I do. Well, you guys have probably seen it. My brain like will take like a piece of information and like will predictively forecast what I think is going to happen based off that information. And my brain is doing that now based off the stuff that Burr. Well, I don't know that it's Burr cuz he hasn't like said his name and hasn't like been a part of a song song yet in act two. So it could still be the same actor but a different character, but um based off the stuff that Leslie, the actor, said and like how, how smug he said. I don't like how smug he said it. Like the acting is good, right? But like my brain putting all that together, I don't, I don't like what I, I feel like this is 
foreshadowing. So I'm just not going to say it, and we're, we're going to watch it and see what happens. But in that section, obviously, that's another, like, motif reference there, right? He actually references himself, uh, where he says, the uh, there's nothing like summer in the city. Uh, and then he says something else about stress uh, and someone looking pretty, which is obviously a reference to his part in Skylar Sisters, where he raps... Um, Woo! There's nothing like summer in the city. Someone in a rush next to someone looking pretty. Excuse me, miss. I know it's not funny, but your perfume smells like your daddy's got money. Why you slumming in the city in your fancy heels? You searching for an urchin who can give you ideals. Bird, you disgust me. Ah, so you disgust me. I'm a trust fund. Baby, you could trust me. Part of that is Angelica, but obviously, that's you get what I'm saying. That's the part that he is referencing here. That song is so great. Okay, anyway, back to the point. Uh, that's, the, that's the song that he is referencing here, and that is a part of the song he's referencing here. But it's, it's different. The lines are a little bit different here. And also, it's a lot slower and more somber until, like, the very end part where he seems, like, super smug. I don't really know why that is. Well, I, I guess Peggy's back or, you know, whoever this is. Because he said meet. Someone stressed meets someone looking pretty. So I'm, I'm guessing that Peggy's actress is a new person. Um... In which case, I'm not sure yet why they're referencing Skylar Sisters. I just know that that is a reference to Skylar Sisters and specifically that part in Skylar Sisters, which they've been referencing Skylar Sisters a lot in these past, like this song and in the previous song. So it may just be a continuation of that, like tying these two songs together. I don't know. Longing for Angelica, missing my wife. That's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life. She said, I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. My husband's doing me wrong, beating me, cheating me, mistreating me. I don't have the means to go on. So I offered her alone. I okay, so uh, Peggy is not Peggy anymore. I don't know this actress's name. I'm not going to look up her name because, again, now I'm just afraid to look up actors' names. But if you guys, if I know you guys know her name, leave that in the comment section down below. But Peggy is not Peggy anymore. And she's even singing different. I love how with the changes in the uh, characters that we get, their acting, their uh, vocalizations and, and cadence and everything. It just, it, they're, they're very different, even though it's the same people playing these different characters, like the way that they go about representing themselves on the stage, their body language and movement and like the way they sound, it's just like so different. And so I, I find that really, really interesting. I was gonna say one other thing, but I don't remember. So we're just going to continue forward. Longing for Angelica, missing my wife. Oh, that's what I was gonna say real quick. What, what? Why'd you think of Angelica first? He is annoying me with his little way too close connection with his sister-in-law. I don't like it, okay? It's getting, it's getting on my nerves. I just want to... I mean, I just said that already, and I got a bunch of people pissed off at me because I didn't know that apparently it's controversial to dislike cheating, I guess, according to some of the comments and private DMs that I received about people being really pissed off about me being anti-cheating, but I am. me being anti-cheating but i am so uh yeah it all of the weird subtext with angelica and hamilton i don't like it and this like longing for angelica missing my wife but i don't i don't i don't like that angelica got first billing here that's not cool and eliza didn't even get a name drop so it's just i don't know it's weird it's weird it's weird their little letters back and forth i don't like it whatever we're gonna continue my husband's doing me wrong beating me I offered to walk her home, she said You're too kind, sir I gave her 30 bucks that I had socked away She lived a block away, she said This one's mine, sir And I said, well, I should head back home She turned red, she led me to a bed Let her legs spread and said Hey, hey, hey That's when I began to pray Lord, show me how to say no to this But my God, she looked so healthy and the body's saying hell yes Whoa, whoa, No, 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 that's, you wanna know how to say no to this? Like this, no, 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 sir, no. 
Bruh. Was was all the founding fathers hoes? Is that what it was? It was we we just we just founded by a bunch of whores. That's what it was. Just 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 raunchy people. Burr a hoe, he a hoe, Ben Franklin a hoe. Just ever just it was George Washington also a hoe. Thomas Jefferson was a monster. We already got into that in the comments in the last video. But my point was, was anybody cool? Like just like consistently cool and not like some book of secrets evil wizard or something like what why 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 i get that he's probably not used to like people just busting it open for him you know he's reached a, a new level of fame and acclaim and she's probably feeling like very vulnerable given the situation she said her husband was uh cheating on her and beating her which is terrible and like now this man has been like very nice and kind to her so like i get it right but like at the same time like alex like Bruh, you gotta, like, come on now. What are you doing? What What are you doing? Before I really, like, go off the deep end, I'm gonna let this play out some more. Actually, no, hold on. I'm not about to let this play out because I totally predicted this. Remember earlier, I was saying my brain is going somewhere. I'm predicting something that I don't like the way what's being foreshadowed. I was right. I was right. This is exactly, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. I can see the future! I didn't want to put it out there and say it and manifest it even though you can't reverse manifest stuff back in the past retrograde style. That's not what retrograde means, but whatever. I just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why Burr was so smug, because he knew I was judging him so hard before for the whole Theodosa thing, and, and Alex was going to fall into the same trap. Not even the same trap, because technically, Burr was the side piece. He, he wasn't married. Didn't nobody want Burr, okay? Burr was single. He was a single Pringle. He stole somebody else's wife, sure, but... But Alex is, this is a double whammy. He, he's married, okay? This doesn't push me to team Burr. Like, y'all was implying that, like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see how bad Alex is, and, like, all of a sudden, I'm gonna be team Burr now. Burr a hoe, too, okay? He, he out here sleeping with married people, too. So, he's not much better. And also, I don't think that this necessarily excuses shooting him but um with that being said I'm, I'm i guess i'm now i'm still team hamilton but i'm just team eliza hamilton at this point like eliza's like the only person in this whole thing that's like morally her and lauren's and lauren's dead already so <laughs> eliza please don't turn out to be crazy or something although at this point like if you know if you catch your husband cheating on you like i feel like some some crazy is warranted so okay anyway back back to back to this <sighs> I don't like this, man. <laughs> she turned red, she led me to a bed, let her legs spread and said, hey, hey, hey. That's when I began to pray, Lord, show me how to say no to this. I don't know how to say no to this, but my God, she looks so helpless. Don't, don't say that word, dog. You don't, you don't get to say that word no more, okay? That's, that's, no, no. You got a big enough brain and a big enough vocabulary, you could lose literally any other word other than helpless. Your helpless privileges are revoked forever. They're gone. Okay, I don't, I don't want to hear you say that word no more. Just, ugh, it's like putting your, your first dance song from your wedding on your, your freaky deaky playlist with your side piece. It's just, it just, it don't, it don't feel right, okay? It's disrespectful. I mean, cheating is already disrespectful, but it's like, this is a little, a little extra, a little, no, no. Y'all knew. Y'all y'all clicked on this video knowing what I was in for this video. Don't be judging me in the comments like you didn't know what was coming. No, 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 I wish I could say that was the last time. I said that last time it became a pastime. A month into this endeavor, I received a letter. Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on they luck you see that was my wife who decided to uh oh you made yeah. the wrong sucker a cuck hole so time to paint the pipe up on the pants you unbuckle and hey you can keep seeing my whole wife if the price is right if not i'm telling your wife i hit the letter and I'm The plot, the plot is thickening. It's, 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 it's thick as concrete right now. Like, okay, so, um, 
I hate that guy. Like, I, I hate that guy. I don't think I've seen that actor prior, so I think he's, like, a completely new actor instead of, like, a, a double casting, dual casting, or whatever. Um, but uh, I, I hate that. I hate that guy, like, so much. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Alex deserves some consequences for his, his treacherous actions. But, like, but I hate that guy. I hate that guy. That's crazy. Like, he, he really... Yeah, he started getting extorted immediately. Uh, wait, no, he said he said a month after he was getting the letters. You know what's crazy? You know this song. I feel conflicted because like it's it sounds really good, right? And like that dude, um, the the husband um, Reynolds, his rapping was like really clever. Like the the um, uh, I'm the wrong one, the cuckold. Now you have to pay the piper. For the pants that you unbuckled or, or whatever it was. Like, that was hard. That was hard. I got to, you know, like, game recognize game. I got to give respect on that. But at the same time, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. Like, oh, my goodness. He's terrible. He's, he's yeah. I'm just going to hit play because I, I don't even, I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I really, I really don't know how to process this. So, I'm just going to, I feel like I just walked in on my parents, like, doing stuff like you know like i feel like i shouldn't be seeing this why why did i have to see this why somebody give me bleach for my eyes and my ears because because i don't i don't want to remember this this happened so um yeah okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go. don't rush me okay i'm gonna go sir i hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous Enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on they luck you see that was my wife who decided to uh oh you made the wrong sucker a cock hole so time to take the pipe up all the pants you unbuckled i hit the letter and i race to a place where i'll put you in a face she said no sir just apologetic a mess she looked pathetic she cried Whoa, 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 out, no, wait, hold on, hold on, he didn't mention a letter, he didn't say nothing about a letter, you, you, you just exposed your, she was in on it the whole time, oh my goodness, I was feeling sorry for you, oh my goodness, wow, that's, that's so wild, that's, wow, wow, wow. 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 That's crazy. How did Hamilton fall for this, bro? You are way too smart to be in this dumb of a situation, okay? This is why you think with your big head, not your little head, because th this is what happens when you when you don't have your head screwed on straight. This is it, wow. Wow. That's crazy. I don't I don't want to see Eliza finding out about this. That's, that's, that's gonna suck so much. That's, bruh. She played me a little bit too. Like, I, I want to be like, I'm built different. Cause I am, I would never be in this situation. But at the same time, I was feeling sorry for her too. Not enough to like destroy my like family life and my marriage. But like, I was feeling sorry for her. I was, I was feeling sympathetic for her situation. And she is a whole liar. She's a whole liar. Wow. Bring me the gavel, bro. Bang, bang. You're guilty. Send her to jail. Because she just totally, he didn't say nothing about a letter at all. He was like, how could you? Uh, and he said, like, one other thing. And she was like, I don't know anything about a letter. But I know he didn't say nothing about that. He didn't tell her about the letter. She just immediately knew. So she was telling on herself. Did they think of this? or is, is this, I feel like, you know what's crazy? Part of me is thinking... This seems like a scheme by Thomas Jefferson to, like, get him out of the way. You feel me? Like, I feel like Thomas Jefferson put the couple up to this. Because I just know Thomas Jefferson hates him that much. And Thomas Jefferson is that evil that I could see him doing something like this, you know? But either way, it don't matter whose idea it was. Hamilton, you, you, you effed up, bro. You effed up. Okay, I was, I was rocking with you, okay? T Tyra, hit him with the lecture. Do you know that you had a possibility to win? Do you know that all of America is rooting for you? Do you know that? And then you come in here and you treat this like a joke? I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you learn something from this? You go to bed at night, you lay there, you take responsibility for yourself! Because nobody's gonna take responsibility for you. Wish I could say that was the last time I said that last time It should have been. Came a no, it's not. Just a 
pathetic a mess She looked pathetic, she cried Hold on. That was kind of a bar. I I missed it last time because I was like, uh, half dressed, apologetic, a mess. She looked pathetic. Like that's, you know, dressed, mess, apologetic, pathetic. Like that's, that's kind of a bar. But at the same time, like, I don't even, I don't even really care at this point, bro. Like what? Why? Why are we here? Why? How did we get here? How? So what's your whole story you set up? I don't know about any Stop crying, God damn it, damn it. I didn't know any better. Please, please Again, no, no with the helpless thing, okay? I, I don't, I don't like that they keep referencing helpless or using that word, even if it's not a reference. I also don't like that he said, I am ruined. Uh, no, your marriage is ruined. You're focused on the wrong thing, my boy, okay? I'm just, yeah. Bro, um, I thought I thought this couldn't get worse. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. He went back to her. He went back to her. Really, really. You let her seduce you again. Look at his face right now. My bro has folded, folded like a chair in Montgomery, bro. What is going on? What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Okay, let, let me list your sins out, okay? I'm now the prosecutor. I was the defense attorney, I'm the prosecutor. You wanna play lawyer? I could play lawyer too. First, you cheated on your wife, okay? Terrible. You should have been at the lake. That's what I would have been doing. I would have been at the lake. I wouldn't have been in this situation at all. But, okay. First, you cheated on your wife. Then, you made it a pastime. You made it a habitual thing. You just did it all the time for a month like an idiot. Then you got caught by the husband because this was a setup, you idiot. And then you got extorted all around terrible, too many sins to list. And then, and then like it couldn't get any worse while yelling at her, you somehow let her seduce you again? And she's like, just pay him, you can have me. What, are you crazy? Wh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This song does have like a bit of like the, my mind is telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yeah. Which is, you know, that one song, I don't see nothing wrong with a little prison time. Oh, oh that, was, that was actually pretty good. I just thought of that by he who shall not be named. Anyway, the point is, uh, it has that same vibe of specifically the beginning part of that. The rest of the song is like the opposite of that. But the beginning part of that where it's like, you know, your mind and your body aren't in unison. And so like you, you feel this conflicted nature, but like, I feel like my body would have, would have been in unison after I realized that she was a scammer. You feel me? Like, I don't, I don't, how, how? Oh, look at his, look, I don't even want to look, but you look, look at his face right now. Let me try to be empathetic. I, I understand how, not me, it wouldn't have worked on me, could have fell for the wiles of, I don't know the actress's name, so I'm gonna just call her Mrs. Reynolds. I, I get, like, the sultry and seductive nature of her voice, and, like, she, like, kind of all over him, whatever, like, I, I, I get how she could be tempting, and I get how someone could fall into that pitfall. I'm not excusing the behavior, but I, I understand how that could happen. I don't understand how this becomes a continuous thing, and I definitely don't understand how even knowing what you know about the situation now, you, 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 how, 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 explain it to me. For all of y'all who were super pro cheating in the other video and y'all want to be mad at me for being anti-cheating, explain it to me. I get that I have the hindsight of having seen a lot of powerful men and celebrities fall into this same entrapment 
And so, like, my antennas would be up to it in a way that his may not be, having not had the celebrity culture that I have been raised in. But at the same time, at, at this point, you're just a masochist. Like, I don't understand how, 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 how. You clearly not writing nothing for Congress. Y you see what I'm saying? Like, you, where, where did all that ambition go? Where did all that focus and drive to ignore your family go? Like, I don't... So I'ma just hit play again. I was hoping that like, as I talked about it, I processed it more, it would make more sense and I could like, I could get it. But the more I talk about it, the more annoyed with the situation I get. And so I'm just like, they don't pay me enough for this. They don't pay me at all. But you get what I'm saying. They don't pay me enough for this. My blood pressure about to like go through the roof right now. So let me just, let me just, let me just go. It, it can't get, it cannot get worse than this. And I, I know I've been thinking that this whole time. I mean, like, it can't get worse. Just like hit play, they'll move on, it'll get better. But like, it, it's not. Every time I hit play, it just gets worse again. At this point, he didn't gone back to, to the scammer and and look look at his, his face. I mean, like the acting is great. Like, don't get me wrong. Like the fact that I'm this invested and this upset is like great acting. But at the same time, like, bruh, stand up, stand up. You got the knees of a baby giraffe. Cause like what how how did you fold this badge? You're origami at this point. I don't I don't understand. Like I, I I'm actually upset. Like y'all was y'all upset? Did this okay for the the non like pro cheating people? Was y'all upset? Like did did y'all did this piss y'all off too? Or is this just like a me thing? Like, I get that like loyalty is like very very important to me. It's like a core part of who I am as a person. So like this is a landmine personally for me. But I feel like other people should also be annoyed by this. Cause like, even if you're okay with cheating, you're okay with him like knowingly being extorted. Like I, okay, all right, all right, enough, enough. Hit play. Nobody needs to know. Bruh. 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 Okay. All right. This is where I'm supposed to stop. Again, shout out to the people who helped me create this this breakdown of where I'm supposed to start and stop. Cause y'all, y'all knew, y'all knew, y'all knew. I, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't even like that the next song sounds like it's going to be like upbeat and, and happy and like, no, no, I can't, I can't do, do this bipolar ass, like musical composition thing that y'all doing where y'all just like dragging my heart around all over the place and be somebody dying. And then the, the next song super dope. And then rapping and stuff and then th th this happening and then all oh, this great like trumpets no 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 i can't take it i can't take it so i'm glad that this is where i'm pausing for those of you who are still here i really do appreciate you i have more to say in the outro some of it is like music related not all of it is going to be me ranting about cheating but it's going to be a lot of that too so like yeah okay uh outro time okay so um yeah that's yeah he really paid that man that's so crazy that is wild one thing that i, I want to say before i go off like ranting again about like d the insanity of this situation is i the foreshadowing in burr's introduction part for this song where he says so first off we we get like a reference to the skylar sisters right makes sense because again that's the introductory song for peggy and Peggy's actress comes back with a new character and this is her introductory song. Hopefully this is the last time we see her, but I, I don't have faith that that's the case. So I'm just gonna call it an introductory song for this character. And that makes sense, that, that's a dope connection there. And then he also says something about, in the original Skylar Sisters 
rap section that he's referencing he talks about the smell of perfume that should you know smells like your daddy's got money and this time he instead says that like there's like the smell of trouble in the air some something like that some olfactory reference to trouble like smelling trouble or, or something like that and so um i think that that's dope because like at the at the same time we see uh i think her name is mariah or maria or something reynolds she's walking up and that's like obviously like a nod to like what's about to transpire and i my brain kind of picked up on on that and i was like getting funky juju from the whole situation and i was like ah, i i don't like i don't like this here but with that being said just because i don't i don't like it like on a on an interpersonal investment in the story level doesn't mean that i can't recognize that's incredible right like that's that's so uh dope that's that's really smart the way that they use that and again burr being smug like hey y'all was just judging me for this theodosa thing and now look 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 at your main character look he doing the same thing but worse and so it's it's really great right even the the song as terrible as the content of it is like the actual song itself musically is really really good and and i think it's dope i don't think that there are that many motifs in that song i didn't pick up on that many although in every single video like literally every single video 50 percent of the comments are like oh my god it's so incredible how you caught all of this stuff how did you catch all of that and then like the other 50 percent of the comments are people like going off on me like i can't believe you didn't catch this how did you miss this you're an idiot so like i i get that i miss stuff i'm human there there's stuff that's gonna fall through the cracks and in this video it is very possible a lot fell through the cracks i was sucked into what was happening plot wise so musically there could have been other motifs there i do feel like the helpless thing is intentional and not just like there to piss me off but i feel like that that was a motif and then like obviously the skylar sisters thing at the beginning of the song and the fact that like right before this one of the songs that they referenced was satisfied with the whole angelica bit i was thinking like it is a reference to their connection with each other which it is but it also kind of foreshadows the fact that like bro be in situations where he be feeling stuff for people who not his significant other and so in the the next song that is immediately developed upon in the worst possible way but yeah my point is the writing is incredible but at the same time it's like bro like how 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 like i i again i i understand that people can make mistakes especially like a one-off mistake i'm not excusing it i'm never gonna the, the way i'm wired is not going to be that of a person to excuse cheating i feel like there are so many ways that you don't have to cheat like i get back in this day you couldn't just like up and divorce somebody and like get a different partner just because your partner sucked but like there are so many other avenues other than cheating that i i just can't like the way i'm wired the, the 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 way i'm set up the trauma i got i'm never gonna be like pro cheating at the same time i understand that people can make mistakes i'm not perfect nobody's perfect so like a, a one-off mess up when your spouse is like off a different place uh, which you should have been at you had the choice to be at you could have been at you could have been there working and and being with your family but you weren't you chose that so you were lonely and missing your wife's sister and missing your wife and so you fell when old girl just threw it at you okay conceptually i understand everything after that i know i can't even like wrap my head around how how he ended up in this situation i i guess i kind of knew that he would pay to keep them quiet because a comment in a in a previous video i think either the last video or the video before that told me that uh alex and eliza have eight kids together like in history and so if this follows that same trajectory then they have six kids six more kids that they need to make because philip said that he has a little sister so that's two kids right so with that in mind there's like six other kids that need to be made and so while it is possible that eliza could just like find out and then like continue to stay with him and they continue to have like kids it's also very possible that she just doesn't find out and that is how they continue on their marriage with like the six kids thing but i think it's crazy i, th I think i think the whole situation is crazy and it's just like very i tried i try really hard to like see where other people are coming from show empathy towards um people who are in situations even if they've gotten into a situation that i wouldn't necessarily get myself into like i still try to like understand put myself in other people's shoes see where other people are coming from but like i i don't get it because it wasn't just like he paid them 
just to keep them quiet. Like he literally he went back to go yell at her and then and then like you saw his face. You 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 you, you see my face and you saw his face. Like you, you see what I'm saying? Most of us I'm assuming are grown. We know what was going on in that chair, okay? Like you how? 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 You just caught her red-handed, red lip, red dress, everything. Red everything. Just, she's just a walking red person because she literally told you, I don't know anything about the letter. Like, like you didn't, you didn't even mention that. So you know, you know that she was in on it. And then she's like, oh, just pay him. And then you can have me. I, I don't want you. I don't want you. I, I, I can't even look at you right now. I'm flabbergasted. Cause like part of me is annoyed with the situation, but also part of me is like stunned, you know? Like I knew that Alice was gonna do something that made like a bunch of people like not rock with him. Instead, rock with Burr. Again, I don't think Burr's that much better of a person, but that's a whole other thing. But at the same time, I just like the way in which it it unfolded just is just so confusing to me. I know the comments are going to be hell on this video, but um, that that's my honest reaction to this. I'm enjoying Hamilton immensely. I'm very invested in all of this. Clearly, the music is really, really, really good, and the lives of these characters. I don't know if this is like embellished for the actual musical itself kind of like with the him and angelica relationship how that's been embellished some or if this is like actually what happened in history but yeah anyway this is a super long outro i had a lot to say this video is going to be long but like i i don't care i don't i'm not gonna lie like i i wanted to feel bad but at the same time i i needed to process this and the way i process is through talking so um thank you so much if you're seeing this i really really do appreciate it like it, it it means the world to me um i cannot overstate how much i appreciate you guys who like watch the whole videos that's why i have you guys do the emoji thing so i can like try to um like interact with you guys on a personal level to tell you thank you for watching the videos but yeah this this was this was a crazy video speaking of the emojis uh we're gonna continue the, the crown emoji even though i said i normally do like emoji for like two videos and then like, switch it i've had like some some um more mature people people who have, have experienced more in life tell me that they had a really hard time finding the crown emoji like several people have told me that and so uh they they worked through the process of finding the crown emoji and now i feel bad if i like switch the emoji on them like as soon as they it took them two videos to find the crown emoji they found it and now i'm switching it to something else that that just that feels bad so we're going to continue with the crown emoji if you have watched unto this point thank you so so much i really do appreciate it uh definitely make sure to subscribe i feel like if if you watch this long and you're not subscribed i i don't understand that either but please do subscribe it's free it don't hurt you none and it will help you uh stay in the loop for my future reactions to whatever other insanity lynn decides to throw at my brain yeah thank you so much for being here i really do appreciate it you guys have a great day i'll see you next time peace Bye -bye. These guys no blues A new love, but we know that it accrues Like time in a QS shampoo New bamboo, much more of it will ensue I'm caught in this trance in the loop Of sinking down in the stew You change up the brew, now life tastes so brand new It's delicious like fondue Under the moonlight tonight Stars and hearts shimmering Shimmering, who I am You're a bad life, I tell you I'm not